Hello everyone, in this presentation I will give a brief overview of how we make tutorials, how we create spoken tutorials. It may be useful to you also to create such tutorials. Our method focuses on tutorials for IT training, but the same method with some modifications should work for other areas as well. I have opened spoken tutorial web page here. You have already seen this earlier, but I am going to focus on a topic called spoken tutorial technology. So, you come here, scroll down, okay. And then I have selected English and pressed search to get the next page. Here is the result of that search. You can see some of the tutorials here. The first one is called what is a spoken tutorial. I created this tutorial quite some time ago. I think it was in 2010 where I outlined the objective of this method itself. Cam Studio is a open source software that is available for Windows. This tutorial explains how one can use Cam Studio to create a spoken tutorial. So, let us go down. The next tutorial uses a software called Record My Desktop. Record My Desktop is a software available on Linux systems, but lately we have started using another recording software called Kazam. Let me go to a page that talks about Kazam. I have already opened it. So, here I have a brief tutorial open in front of me. It is a short one. Let me play this tutorial for a little while. Hello, this is a very brief demonstration of the program Kazam, which can be used to produce videos of slide presentations with sound narration. Okay, I have passed it. If you do a web search, you will see a large number of tutorials of similar sort. I am going to show a tutorial that I created using Kazam recently. Let me open. Here is a tutorial on LaTeX that I created, as a matter of fact, you can see yesterday. Let me play this. Welcome to this spoken tutorial on report writing in LaTeX. I am calling it LaTeX and not LaTeX. My name is Kannan Moggalya. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a. So, let me advance it a little bit. How to create the title page. I am creating this tutorial on our less than 10,000 rupee laptop and I am using Ubuntu Linux, Techworks and LaTeX. You can also use Techworks on Windows or Mac, the method is identical. You can use LaTeX by itself without Techworks also. You are welcome to use more expensive Linux computers also. So, let me pause it. So, one can see from this even an inexpensive computer that costs only rupees 10,000 can create such a good quality spoken tutorial and it is created using Kazam. So, I would strongly recommend using Kazam in case you happen to use Linux. This slide also explains a philosophy that we use namely to use a software that works on different platforms. Here it works on Linux, Windows and also Mac. So, let me go back to the previous page. We have come back to the list. We talked about the creation using record my desktop and alternative is Kazam which is what we are recommending now. The next tutorial talks about dubbing a spoken tutorial using movie maker. So, this is in the Windows system, editing it in movie maker and dubbing it 
on Linux. What about editing on Linux? So, there is an excellent software called OpenShot. I have opened it here. So, once again, this is a tutorial that I located on the internet. This tutorial does not have voice, but it explains if you go through this, you will see a lot of features in this tutorial. Of course, there are many other tutorials as well. Okay. Now, let me go to the main page of our website. Under the creation tab, there is a link called creation process. If you click this, you will come to this page. So, this page has information on creating spoken tutorials. The first one talks about the spoken tutorial technology itself, which is something that we have already seen, but I want to spend some time on the processes. What are the processes involved in creating a spoken tutorial? So, the first thing that I would do is to click here for a quick summary and I have already opened it here. Let us go here. Okay. It says that you have to create a checklist first. It says that you have to satisfy the requirements in a checklist and then there is a learning activity and then outline for the whole series of spoken tutorials and then we write the script. Remember, we write the script first, pass it through the novice before we accept it for recording. So, that script undergoes admin check, novice and domain expert check and then we go for video recording and then we come to timed script. So, timed script is useful if you want to dub the spoken part from one language to another. Recall that we dub every one of our tutorials into all 22 languages. Let me come back to the previous tab. We just saw the quick summary. I want to take a few minutes on guidelines checklist. So, if you click guidelines checklist, you will come here. Now, this has a file called guidelines.zip. Now, if you unzip it, there will be a whole directory and there is a PDF file. I have opened that file. I am going to show it to you now. Okay. So, I have opened this file. It is arranged in a particular way. There is information on preamble, naming a tutorial, how much what to cover in each tutorial. I am not sure whether I told you our spoken tutorials are about 10 minutes long. So, we need to decide how much to cover in each tutorial, how to sequence them, how to provide examples. Spoken tutorials are based on demonstration. For example, we insist that 75 percent of every tutorial is devoted to demonstrations that learner has to reproduce. Remember, the learners learn on their own that is through self-learning and so we believe that this requirement is important. So, let me quickly go through, you can go through this later on about uh, clarity of explanation to make intentional mistakes. Remember, this is for IT tutorials and then how to keep it simple, how to time the length of a tutorial, how to use grammar, how does one use the slides, okay, what to put in slides and of course, we have a lot of other things like punctuation, novice check, before novice check what do you have to do? what happens during the novice check stage, how do you prepare for recording, how do you choose the screen size, recording speed, font size. For example, we insist on 24 point font size. We believe that many of our tutorials are watched by students in mobile phones. So, having a big font size really helps and so on. So, I would like you to uh, go through this, what precautions one has to take during recording. Remember, we do not insist on high quality recording studios that cost a lot of money. It is possible 
to create good quality tutorials in a normal room. The LaTeX tutorial that I created earlier was recorded in an ordinary room. In IIT, it was not recorded in a studio. So, let us go back to this page. The previous checklist was for the creation of spoken tutorial for IT training. I always tell my people that if they make an ordinary tutorial, 10 people will watch it. Whereas, if they make it 10 times better, 10,000 people would watch it. So, we insist on a lot of rules we want people to follow, so that it is suitable for self-learning. Recall that more than a million students have undergone IT training using spoken tutorials. As a matter of fact, it is 1.2 million. So, that is because we emphasize a lot on the quality. Remember, we also have to dub them into all 22 languages. So, the original has to be suitable for this purpose. For this, we have instructions on dubbing stages as well. So, I would suggest that you go through all the stages to understand the processes and then use the technology that I pointed out earlier. I am going to ask you later on as an assignment to create a tutorial yourself on a topic of your choice. So, with that I have come to the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.